guys, it is the Tipler 3848 here, and we have got my first in a new series called Retro Trip Thursdays. And as you can see from the title going on behind us, we are playing Super Mario World. This was the Mario offering, if you will, for the SNES. So. I loved playing this as a kid. Oh, I was so excited when we got that SNES and got Mario World. And I'm really excited to play it again. Look at it. It's just... Oh, look at the graphics. They're, they're an acquired taste, I think, but it loses nothing. So, welcome. This is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Prince's Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. For me, that's one too many agains in that sentence, but what we're going to do... Oh, I, yeah, I forgot about the little squeak every time he moved around the map. So we've got Yoshi's house here. Uh, he's not home at the minute, you can see. You can leave him some mail if you would like. But, hello, sorry I'm not home, but I have gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Ah, Yoshi's a little sweetheart. But you could see at the top there, there were different colour birds. They represent the different colours of Yoshi. But we're going to get straight into the first level and try not to die. And obviously the major difference between this one... Oh, good God, there's a bullet bill. And I'm dead already. Oh, my God. Uh, so what I was about to say is... The major difference is the analogue stick, which is going to take a little bit of getting used to. And clearly... I was not wrong there because, oh god, yeah, it, it feels really weird. Oh, go away, Bullet Bill. God damn it. Oh, I remember you have to hit those bastards twice. But yeah. So, yes, it's going to take a little getting used to because obviously, back in the day when you were playing this on the SNES, SNES had no analog stick whatsoever. I know the Wii U, which I am playing this on, has uh, a D pad, but I don't know. Uh, when you've used analog for so long, you don't really want to go backwards, but you can do your little spinny jump on those bits and get down onto here and collect these little what I used to call Yoshi coins as a kid, but now I understand they're dragon coins. I mean, I don't think that makes too much of a difference. Yoshi is kind of a dragon. Ooh, mysterious dotted line! What we got? Point of advice you can hold an extra item in the box at the top. And when you press it, select a button, you can use it. Yay! Oh, this slide. Wee! Wee! Duck you! Duck you, stupid Italian bastard. Uh, well, we'll hit each of these. Point of advice to pick up a shell, you can use the Y button to throw a shell. Look upwards and let go of the Y button. Okay. Let's see. Boom! Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, well, that was a mistake, but you can just bounce on there and get it anyway. So, whatevs, game, whatevs. That was a stupid thing to do, wasn't it, you stupid plumber? But look at it. I mean, the graphics. I know people who didn't sort of play this growing up are probably looking at the graphics and thinking, what is this guy on? I mean, this is. This looks terrible. What are you going on about? But we get 23 stars at the end there, and I think it's when you get to 100 you get a little bonus game where we can get some one-ups, some lies, some little green mushroom thing, which I don't know, I always used to call chapatis for some reason uh, growing up as a kid. is an Italian bread, he's an Italian guy. Yellow Switch Palace. Woo! Oh, I like this one, actually. You just jump on here, and you're not pressing the friggin' Y button. Come on. Come on, Tip. And you can pick up a few extra lives just by sort of jumping around. Obviously, 100 coins equals an extra life for those of you who haven't played Mario. If you've never played Mario, shame on you for a start. Shame on you. But we're all already up to nine lives, so we're a bit we're being a cat right now. But there he is. Switch Palace, the power of the switch you have pushed will turn dotted line into yellow exclamation box. Your progress will also be saved. Which is good, because obviously kids again, or not kids, teenagers, what have you, who didn't live through this kind of SNES, Master System, Mega Drive, even NES era, which I've been kind of privy to. NES was maybe a little bit too early for me, and I came in around the sort of Master System, SNES-y kind of thing. Bring! Um, 
But, yeah, what you didn't kind of realise back when is when you died, you died. That was it. Ooh, hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. I'm on my way to rescue my friends. Bow Bowser trapped me in that egg. So, how the hell does Bowser, like, trap a dinosaur in an egg? Dinosaur, dragon... I don't know what he is, really. Who cares? But we'll continue picking up the dragon coins, of course. I believe you need five in each level for an extra life. I kind of ignored it in the last one. Hey, American football dude! You looking forward to the NFL returning tonight? Oh, shit, you can come down here. Boom. Meow. I love the noise he makes. Meow. Uh, what we got? Point of advice. This gate marks the middle of this area. By cutting the tape here, you can continue from close to this point. Okay, that doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. Whatever, 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 but oh yeah, another Yoshi egg. If you've got a Yoshi and you get a Yoshi egg, you get a one-up. And you can eat these guys while they're still in the dirt. I can't imagine that's too great for Yoshi, but I mean, yeah, it's one of his five a day, I guess. Dirt. Dirt is one of the five a day, right? Kids, don't eat dirt. <laughs> oh, but what I did, the you irritating plumber. Right, there we go. Uh, what I did there is I just pressed, what was it, A to jump and then, no, B to jump and then A, which should be his little spinny jump, and if you have a Yoshi at that point, obviously you do a kind of double jump really, oh god, Monty Mole, you little prick, come here, thank you. Thankfully when I was a, a, a wee lad, I didn't use that kind of language, obviously. Ooh, it's weird how your brain remembers which little pipes and everything you have to go down. Which is going to kind of be key in this game, I think, because there's so many little secrets. Obviously, when we get to some secrets, I will kind of let you know. Oh, fuck Yoshi. Fuck you, Yoshi. Get away from me, American football guy. Oh, how many? 40! Oh yes, that is a really, really, really good one. I think the top you can get is 50, so that's not bad at all. But we've picked up another shed load of extra lives. See that first death? It was just, yeah, it was just a, a little problem, nothing major. But now you can see all the blocks are now solid. What is our point of advice? The big coins are dragon coins. If you pick up five, you get an extra Mario. Okay, thank you very much, you interesting bastard. So this game, I'm reliably informed by the computer as I started it up, was actually released in 1992. And I would have been, if I can do some very quick maths while concentrating on not dying. Oh, I would have been six, no? Yeah, no, yeah, I would have been six. Six years old. A very little tippler loving computer games already. Because, yeah. How could you not love computer games? I really don't understand how people don't love them. I know I've missed a pipe, haven't I? I've missed a pipe. I'm not going to get back now. I missed a pipe. There is a pipe somewhere at the bottom of one of those little bits. There we go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, which is kind of silly. Ooh, a fire flower! Yeah, you don't have everything that you have these days. You don't have the freezing flower. And there's always, in a Mario game, uh, a version of the sort of... In Mario 3, it was the raccoon tail, which enabled you to fly. In this one, it's a cape, which you can use to fly, but it, oh, it can be so annoying. But... You know, you get a, a version of that in each one, and I believe it's, uh... Is it a squirrel suit in the new one? I can't bloody remember. Maybe I should do a bit on that and, and see what that is. But we got 79 points, so we should really get to that by the end of this episode. So I think this episode, I'm just going to go through this entire little land very, very... Well, as quick as I can. It's been about nine minutes so far. So we're going to get to the end of this area and then call it a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press select to waste that mushroom and then put the little flower up there because if I just collected the flower while the mushroom was still up there 
I don't believe it would have done anything. I think it just would have sort of collected the flower, given me the points. Oh, thank God I've got a Yoshi. Nom 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 nom. Oh, point of advice. Oh no. If you're in an area that you have already cleared, you can return to the map screen by pressing start and then select. Oh my god, thank you very much. Uh, lots of coins, lots of coins, give me all of the coins. Ooh, and I think, yeah, if Yoshi eats these guys as well, that counts for one coin. So that is a really pointless little area to go through. There wasn't even a dragon coin at the end of it. What the hell are you guys smoking? Oh god, I've done this in the wrong... Ah, no, Yoshi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yoshi, I didn't mean to kill you. Ah, I uh, wish I could hear the noise of my start. If I had done this properly, then I would have been getting two ups off of each of those spiky balls. But I did not do it correctly at all. But I don't really mind, because I've already got 15. It's going to tell me about the tape now, isn't it? Yeah, you get bonus stars if you cut the tape at the end of blah de blah Once you collect 100, you will see that we get a bonus level. You won't see it right now, unfortunately, if my maths is right. Yeah, we got up to 98, which is kind of annoying. But that gives you something to look forward to in the next one. So we're going to zip through Iggy's castle. And Iggy's a bit of a son of a bitch. I mean, he's not difficult. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I love so many memories coming back right now. I know how to do everything. You jump, you press up to grab on, you can bump them off with your with your ace. Liquid ace. But you can also punch them when they're on the other side. But if you can help it, what you're going to want to do is the bumping. And I'll tell you for why. Because if... While, or while you are on the same grid, your little, when you just bump them once, actually it keeps, what's the word, accumulating points. As you can see, we're up to a thousand, and when it goes up to about eight thousand, I think eight thousand, you start accumulating extra lives. So, and if you punch one of the Coopers, before coming to that point, I believe it stops it from accumulating. See, 4,000. I'll punch this guy because I don't really need extra lives. Obviously, you can go on the back that way as well. So I think if I now clip this dude... Oh, no, it's going to be 8,000 again. Okay, so it doesn't make any kind of difference. One-ups! Woo! Give me all the one-ups! So I might as well go and get one-ups off of these two right now. I know I said I was going to do it quickly, but, you know... The day that I pass a 1-up on Mario is the day that I stop playing, so... Up to 19 lives? 19 lives. What is this? Point of advice! One of Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle by Iggy Cooper to defeat him, push him into the lava pool. Yes, I know, He's, he jumps out of pipes, I think. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit! Ooh! Forgot about the Pop-Tarts. The Pop-Tarts, they'll get you. I don't know why we call them Pop-Tarts as kids. I don't know what the fucking hell they're supposed to be. But we call them Pop-Tarts, essentially. It is what you need to take away from this. But I, I really don't like the levels where it like forces you to go a certain direction. No, I'll wait. And then we get to the big red door, which is the big boss door, which is Iggy. Oh, it's this one, but... Oh, shiza. I thought he was going to go backwards there, but clearly he did not. But I'm... Um, Ah, yes, he is now. There you go. And to the lava, you little son of a bitch. So that one is a lot easier when you've got a little fire power, flower power, fire, 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 power. But obviously normally you just have to jump on him and he'd go burr, burr, burr. You know, that noise comes up so many times in this. Boom! Thank you! Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Cooper in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they can now travel to Donut Land. Ah, oh, I love Donut Land. Donut Land sounds epic. Now, I think, I think, I think, and I can save it there and I will do, and that's gonna be the end of this episode. But we've covered uh, Yoshi's Island, so that's pretty damn awesome. Is Yoshi's little friend now in Yoshi's house? He is not. Okay. 
so we still have to go and get the rest of them before that happens. Look at his little fireplace and everything. He's made a pretty cool little home, apart from the fact that it's not a house! It's just a bush! Or, like, three trees stuck together in very retro fashion. But that's gonna be me done for this one. I'm sorry there's no kind of face cam or any of that stuff, but I didn't. I think having a face cam would sort of block part of the top bit, so you wouldn't be able to see how many lives I've got left or how many coins or my points and time and stuff like that. So I just thought, better off just going for it and not bothering with the face cam, but maybe I'll start putting that on more videos. Since I've started doing it, I might as well continue, but thank you very much for watching. And I really enjoyed playing this game. Oh, it's it's just so epic. It's I'm, I'm I'm I might even carry on playing on my other one just to you know keep playing. But I'm, I think you, I hope you've enjoyed watching anyway. And if you have, leave me a like, a sub, comment, sub, the usual stuff. You I I don't think I need to keep going on and on and on and on and on about it. But come on, click that sub button and that like button. I like I like likes. Obviously, the the clues in the name. But this is the tip plus three eight four eight. This has been a Mario retro trip from my childhood, and I am out of here.